Nampak dengar? Nampak miss. Good. Thank you. H82 tadi mesti uh, why us, why us. Patut sekali sebab sebenarnya saya salah tekan. Jari gemuk sangat. Nak testing ke uh, miss? Testing apa? Kan dok selalu macam miss selalu left kan. Hari ni try buka satu kamera nak test ke? Uh, yang tu satulah nak test. Kedua, saya rasa sebab saya ada install satu extension kat Chrome saya. Saya rasa extension tu yang crash. Dan saya dah remove extension tu. Sebab dia, klien kita sebelum ni tak jadi pun kan. Dua minggu ni je kan. Dua kali ni lah. Dan dua kali ni sebab saya dah install satu extension baru. So saya, saya suspect extension tu lah. Dan juga iyalah kita nak try lah. Kalau minggu ni satu kelas buka webcam okey dan minggu depan kita buka dua. Jangan risau Zaman ni, kelas kamu akan kena dengan saya. Aduh dah lah tutorial ni selalu derah kami. Sekali <laughs> tutorial lecture pun nak derah. Derah weh, derah. That, that is not a good word. Sekejap lagi, sekejap lagi saya kena komplain. Uh, saya rasa sebab extension tu kot. Sebab saya tanya cikgu lain jadi Teruk tak kat mana pun hmm, itulah. Tak apa kita try but you know Itulah saya ada doa macam-macam dah. All kind of doa saya dah baca. Nanti Miss kalau right. dia dah upgrade nanti Miss buat satu mic. Kan kata upgrade dua atau lima puluh. Betul, betul. Tapi uh, dia adalah by fasa. Lepas tu saya, saya kena try dulu. Nanti kita akan try satu hari. Sebab saya tanya cikgu lain dia orang kata dia orang still guna dua link. So far saya dengar seorang je yang dah kata boleh. Kita try. Betul? Uh, news tu keluar hujung bulan tujuh hari tu. Hujung, hujung Julai lah dia kata dia akan upgrade jadi boleh masuk 250. Dia buy right memang kena 250 pun sebab account ni akan berbayar. Tak tahulah. Okay anyway. Uh, we shall start. So H8P3A. Please. Thank you. Hana is your class. Very unfortunate. They're just not, you know, bukan class tutorial yang saya ajar. I have 15 of you. Hana, Balkis, Hanis, Amma, Rashayatun, Sim, Mira, Thiban. Okay. All right, so tonight we are going to start with your topic three already where your topic three will be your subtopic, uh, sorry, not subtopic, will be the topic that in your assignment. Dia akan duduk dalam assignment, so dengan kata lain, dia takkan masuk exam. Dia tak masuk final je way. Dia masuk UPS, dia akan masuk benda, dia akan masuk kat semua exam kecuali final. Dan dia ada assignment. Assignment kamu uh, akan release next week, so make sure you still need to know, okay? The first basic thing that we need to learn in this topic is how to, how to determine block, period and group. And very important because periodic table is not given in the exam. Kalau periodic table bagi sayang, kita tak payah ajar lah. Betul? Buat apa nak belajar how to look at the period, group and block, tengok je lah periodic table. So for all people over here, I want to remind you one thing, periodic table is not given in the exam. Therefore, you need to know the position of the element. <clears throat> How can we know the position of the element in the periodic table? We need two things. Okay. The first thing that you need to know is your SPDF notation yang kita belajar dalam topik dua. <clears throat> you must know the SPDF notation of the element. And how do we know the SPDF notation? proton number and why i'm showing you this is i don't want you to memorize gila we nak hafal period 1 sampai period 4 group 1 sampai group 18 is almost impossible and even is possible i don't want you to waste your quota dalam banyak-banyak cara cara hafal is the last thing okay all right siapa buka mic <coughs> ada soalan boleh tanya so 
I don't want you to memorize over here. Therefore, you must be able to write the SPDF notation and the proton number. Proton number datang dari mana? Remember the table constant yang kita bagi? Alright? Kita ada benda tu. So, do you really need to memorize? No, you don't memorize. From the proton number, you will write the SPDF notation. From the SPDF notation, we will know the position of the element. Okay? Just very, very important thing. To know the position of the element in the periodic table, my first question untuk Rasyia Yatun. Sayang, dalam periodic table tu, ada ion atau neutral semua? Uh, neutral semua. Neutral semua. So, SPDF notation dan proton number untuk tentukan kedudukan adalah SPDF notation untuk neutral atau ion, Rasyia Tun. Lagi sekali ni soalan dia. Untuk tentukan kedudukan elemen dalam periodic table, SPDF notation yang kamu kena tulis adalah neutral atau ion atau mana-mana pun boleh. Uh, neutral. Neutral. Alright. Be very careful sebab kita dalam tutorial mungkin kamu dah belajar dah. You can form your ion. You can form your cation and ion to achieve octet. Betul? Alright, kenapa dia jadi Mg2+, plus? kenapa dia jadi K+, plus? kenapa dia jadi Cl-, minus? because we want to achieve octet. Tapi, to know the position, if you want to know where it is in the periodic table, you must use the one neutral. Kalau soalan bagi ion, kamu kena cari yang neutral. Kalau soalan bagi cat ion, kamu kena tulis balik yang neutral untuk cari kedudukan dengan kata lain, to determine the block period group. Oops. Dengan kata lain, to determine the block period group, you must use the neutral SPDF notation. Remember that. Okay, yang ni adalah tempat yang kamu akan selalu salah lah. Okay, uh, careless. Bukan salah, careless. So, we have three things that we want to talk about. Okay, we have block over here. Next, Anis Nabila. How many block do we have? Three. 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 Okay, what is the three? S block, P block, and no, I don't have four block. Ah, okay, dia dah ada. S block, P block, D block, and F block. Okay, I want to ask only two things. S block duduk dari mana ke mana? S block at group one and group two. Your group 1 and group 2, that is your S block. Okay, that is your S block. S block mesti adalah duduk pada group 1 and group 2 sahaja. Next, saya nak tanya P block. Group 13 to 18. Your group 13 to your group 18 over here, thank you saya. So that is your P block. Okay, this will be your P block. And therefore, uh, Anis kata tadi ada empat, we have SPDF. So, we have S block, P block, D block, F block. Walaupun ada empat, don't worry guys, we are not learning anything more than the three. So, we have our D block over here. D block is everything from your group three all the way until group 12. That is your D block. Okay, that is your D block. Okay. And then last but not least is your S, uh, F block. But don't worry, sayang. Over here, F block, kamu hanya perlu tahu wujud F block tu. Kamu hanya perlu tahu kedudukan F block tu. Dan kita takkan belajar apa-apa pasal F block di bawah ini. So, no worries. Okay? Kamu hanya perlu tahu F block wujud, F block duduk mana. Habis cerita. Okay? Tak perlu tahu apa-apa dah. So, yang kita akan fokus kat sini. S block, P block, D block. Okay, that is the block that you have. Next, period. Aisha, it's my sister's birthday. So my family group is like, oh my God. Can they just shut up? Yeah, my phone is vibrating non-stop. Can you hear that? All right, Aisha, period. So I don't teach satu dia. Going from the bottom to the top or from the left to the right? From the left to the right. Period is going from the left to the right. Therefore, sayang, ada period berapa? Seven. Seven. Kita ada period one. Bermula hanya dengan 
hydrogen and helium. And then kita ada period tu. Benda ni benda asas. Tapi saya rasa kat SPM dulu kamu belajar BM. Okay. Dan saya tak tahu pun BM panggil period apa. So tak takpelah. So just learn that. Okay. Jangan salah. And then period 3, you have your sodium all the way to your argon. Last but not least, period 4. Why do I say last but not least? Because in our syllabus, I think the most kita akan sampai adalah period 4. Okay. Period 5, kamu tahulah bahawa ni adalah period 5. Kamu tahu bahawa ni adalah period 6. Kamu tahu bahawa ni adalah period 7. Tapi in our syllabus, I think most until period 4. So no worries. Kita akan sentuh di blok satu je. Satu baris je. Okay. That is your period. Therefore, last but not least, before we go into the uh, SPDF notation, Iliana? Yes, miss. Group, obviously, going from? Um, atas ke bawah. Atas ke bawah. Group adalah bergerak dari atas ke bawah. Dan sayang, kita ada berapa group? 18. Kita ada 18 group bermula group 1, bermula group 2. So, group adalah from going from the top to the bottom. That is your group. So, group tak ada pilihan sayang. Kita akan belajar semua group all the way until group 16, group 17, group 18. Semua kita akan belajar. Okay, yang mana kita belajar banyak dengan yang mana kita belajar sikit dah. So, that is your group. Jangan salah benda asas ni. At any point in your life, dalam mimpi tengah malam pergi toilet, saya tanya pun kamu kena tahu yang mana period, yang mana group. Okay? I'm, I'm, I'm serious. That is how basic it is. Okay? Macam jumpa makan, kena baca doa makan, baru boleh makan. Ha, that is how simple it is. Ada orang yang jumpa makan, tak tak baca doa dah makan dah? Teruk betul panggil yang buah. Okay. Alright. Ya, tak. Tu maksud saya lah benda yang sangat-sangat basic dalam mimpi pun hang kena mimpi dia betul. Ha, macam tu lah. Okay? Next, kita tanya voice pula. And Amma? Yes, miss. Amma, how do we determine block? Um. From the first block is from period one to period two. No. Okay. No. More detail. How to determine the block period and group from? SPDF notation. You don't have periodic table right now sayang. Buang periodic table tu daripada otak kamu. Kita tak ada periodic table depan mata sekarang. Kita tak tahu siapa period 1, period 2 and so on. So I only have SPDF notation. So Amma, how do you determine the block? Kelas lain mesti hang ada sebab kita tak kena hari ni. Hang jangan tiba-tiba saya panggil juga. Saya pergi ke uh. Manis. The number of valence electron? The number of valence electron? No. Any friend dalam class nak bantu? Abang Han tak ada kawan kak? Okay. Ya, yeah, Hana, okay. yes? The electron valence punya, dia punya kedudukan dalam orbit yang last. Alright. <coughs> We are going to talk about orbital. Obviously, if you realize the block yang Anis jawab tadi, ada berapa block? Ada SPDF. So, SPDF tu sebenarnya apa? Orbital. S orbital, P orbital, D orbital. So, kawan baik block mesti adalah orbital. Orbital yang mana? Orbital that holding, alright, the last electron. Electron last yang kamu masuk, duduk dalam tu, dia adalah electron berapa? Alright, dia akan duduk dalam blok berapa. Saya bagi contoh sikit. If I have, let's say, uh, we use a very simple one. Yang paling-paling sikit, nitrogen 7. Alright, I have 1s2, 2s2, 2p3. Okay. So, according to 1s2, 2s2, 2p3, ama. rasa-rasa nitrogen duduk blok mana? Amma? Uh, yes. Rasa-rasa nitrogen duduk blok mana? Blok. Blok is where the electron 
at the sorry the last electron is in what orbital look like class yang sama akan kena lagi minggu depan sebab classmate kamu tak boleh jawab soalan yang senang Aisyah P block thank you Aisyah kenapa P block Aisyah kenapa P block because uh, the last electron holding P orbital P orbital The last electron adalah 2P3. Last electron yang kamu masuk duduk kat P, betul? 1S2, 2S2, 2P3. So, electron last duduk kat P. That's why your N adalah P block. Simple. Alright. Sharifah, untuk uh, period pula, how do we determine the period of the uh, element? Um, period. Baca nak tak? Baca nak tak? Oh, baca, 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 baca. Cari, cari, cari. Baru nak baca. Period yang paling senang weh. Um, set of element in the same period arranged in order increasing proton number. No. Tak ada panjang-panjang macam tu soalan saya senang je. Alif? Alif? Ya, yeah, Miss. Ya, yeah, sayang. Awak yang selesai kat situ. Bukan patut orang duduk kat link dua ke? Haa? Huh? <laughs> tak apa Miss. Tak apa Ali. Okay. Jangan dapat dengar suara Miss lah. Oh uh, your mouth is too sick but still need to answer your question. So yeah. yeah. How, do, how do we determine the period? How to determine the period? Yeah Miss. Alif? Alif? Miss Miss. Yes. Uh, highest energy? Highest energy level. Mira tak tahan dah. Mira sabar ya. I give you another one later. Highest energy level in the other words. Kenapa saya kata period adalah yang paling senang sayang. Tengok pada N yang paling tinggi. Habis cerita. Look at my nitrogen just now. My N yang paling tinggi ni senang weh. Ni memang orang kata hang ajar adik yang hang duduk kat radikal tu yang dah belajar 1, 2, 3 lepas tu ajar dia tengok 1, 2, 3. Hang dapat jawapan. 1S, 2S, 2P. So N paling tinggi kat sini dua. Therefore, Amah. Therefore, your nitrogen duduk period berapa? Amah, webcam? Uh, nitrogen, she said period 2. And webcam please. Studio class? Yang lain? Alright. Good. Therefore, that is how we determine the two things. And the last but not least, Mira, you want to answer? How do we determine the group? Um, it's based on the proton number. Based on the proton number? No, I don't think uh, so. Oh, uh, it's a... Uh, give me a moment, Miss. I just, I'm panicking. Okay. But let's see. Number of valence electron. Number of oh, yeah. valence electron. Thank you. Okay. Number of valence electron. And a bit of trick over here. Kalau dia adalah group 1, group 2, valence electron, sorry, number of group will be equals to number of valence electron. Okay. Kalau dia adalah group 3 until group 12, your D block. Okay. Number of group will be still also equals to the number of valence electron. Okay. So kalau dia adalah S block, kalau dia adalah D block, the number of group will be equals to the number of valence electron. Standard. But a bit of trick kalau dia adalah P block. Kalau dia adalah P block, the number of valence electron kena tambah 10 baru sama dengan group. Okay, kenapa tambah 10? Kenapa kat P block tu kena number of valence electron tambah 10 baru sama dengan group? Kita tengok balik periodic table sikit. 
you have your group 1, group 2 and then kamu ada 10 group duduk kat tengah. You have 10 groups sitting in between. Baru kamu sampai group 13. Okay, dengan kata lain, kalau dia adalah group 13, valence electron dia sebenarnya 3 je. Tapi kenapa nama dia group 13? Sebab kita tambah 10. So, sama juga dengan group 18. Group 18. Tapi valence electron sebenarnya 8 je. Kenapa group 18? Sebab kita tambah 10. Okay? See that? We will look at example later on so don't worry. And this is a general thing on how to determine the plot period and group. Very basic, simplest thing. Then semua orang kena guna SPDF notation. Okay, so we we'll look at the first one, block. So the orbital which has the last electron is placed. Okay, always remember that your block is when the orbital that has or holding the last electron. That's it. So contohnya, of course, mesti adalah alif lah sebab alif tak, jam, tak dapat jawab soalan saya. Katakan saya, saya ada magnesium. Proton number saya 12. Tak payah hafal lah soalan, uh, bukan soalan bagi. Table ada. Alif, saya nak SPDF notation. Ya, yeah, Miss. Saya nak SPDF notation. 1S2, 2S2, 2P6, uh, 3S2. Therefore, magnesium will be in block. Magnesium block 2. Block 3. <laughs> tunggu, tunggu, tunggu. tunggu. Kau hang, kalau duduk depan mata, Hana kata hang mati dah, weh. S. So what is your answer? What block is that? Yes, madam. Sorry, madam. Sorry, madam. Sorry to yourself, man. Ah. Uh. Okay. Uh, magnesium, 12. 1S2, 2S2, 2P6, 3S2. We have talked about that, how you get the SPDF notation in the previous lecture. And looking at the last electron is located in your 3S. Therefore, it's the S block. Simple, easy. Hanis, saya ada, let's say, saya ada... Scandium 21. Hanis? Hanis? Uh, 1S2. Sambung. 2S2. 2P6. 3S2. Uh, 3P6. For S two, three D one. Thank you. All right. That is it. Amma, what block? Uh, block B. Block D. D block. Thank you. Senang class. So tak perlu hafal pun sebenarnya. Kenapa saya kata tak perlu hafal? Proton number je yang kamu perlu. Proton number ada dalam jadual. Tulis je SPDF notation guna mata kamu. Tengok last electron duduk kat mana. Okay. Tiban, on top of this question, can I have the period of your magnesium? Tiban? Uh, period 3. Period 3. Uh, Scandium? Period 4. Thank you. By that in mind, sayang, untuk scandium berhati-hati, kita ada 4S before 3D. So, period akan jatuh pada N paling tertinggi. Therefore, dia adalah period 4. Okay. So, that is your period. Saya so, rasa so, kita tak perlu dah bincang period sebab yang tu yang senang. Kita terus kepada group and dari situ kita akan tengok balik your period and uh, block. Okay. Alright. Over here, kita ambil contoh terus. So, if I have the S block, we are taking the S block first. Tadi saya kena guna magnesium and today I want calcium. Calcium dan yang saya tak panggil lagi. Hanan? Yeah. Calcium 20. Can I have the SPDF notation? Uh, 1S2 
2 S2, 2 P6, uh, 3 S2, 3 P6, 4 S2, um, oh, dah. Dah. Okay. But okay, for this, before the group, what is the period and what is the block? Tak dengar bagi smart. Um, the period is um four. The the block is S. Thank you. And why I ask the period and block, even though class we are actually looking for group. Kenapa Miss Wong still nak tanya period and block? Jujur eh, group kawan baik dengan block. Best friend. Cara yang senang untuk dapat tahu group adalah tengok pada block. Dan kalau dia adalah S block, yang paling penting dalam group adalah valence electron. Nak tentukan group apa adalah valence electron. Okay, so untuk S block, valence electron is the one in the S orbital yang paling tinggi N. Okay, kalau dia adalah S block, valence electron dia adalah jumlah elektron yang duduk pada NS. Apa maksud NS? N yang paling tinggi, S orbital. So, your valence electron untuk case ini adalah dua. Okay, so when the valence electron over here is two because four S2, two valence electron. Therefore, it's a S block. Number of valence electron, okay, will be equals to the number of group. So your calcium automatically group two. Makes sense. Okay. The same thing apply kalau kita ada group one. Okay. Contoh ya, saya bagi group one yang senang, uh, potassium. Nineteen kita buat yang sama lebih kurang ya. One S two. 2s2, 19. So, kurang satu je lah. Electron. 3s2, 3p6, 4s1. Dan kamu still akan perasan sayang. One thing is a s block. You need to know the block before the valence electron. Okay? And we agree, kalau the s block, valence electron is the one in the ns. So, my valence electron is this one right now. 4s1. Dan 4S1 kat situ melambangkan your valence electron is equals to 1. S block, number of valence electron equals to number of group. Therefore, your potassium group 1. Nampak? So the tips is over here. The block will determine the valence electron. And from the block, how do we calculate the valence electron? Untuk S block, valence e electron adalah NS. From the valence electron untuk S block, number of valence electron equals to number of group. Simple. All right. Easy. Next. Kalau saya ada yang lain. Let's say I have my scandium just now. Your friend give me a scandium of 21. SC21. So, I will have 1S2, 2S2, 2P6, 3S2, 3P6, 4S2, 3D1. Yang di mana? Your friend just now, I think, I don't know who I think Bauke say that. That is your period for, alright, that is my D block. Dia period for sebab N tertinggi adalah 4. Period adalah tengok N paling tinggi. N paling tinggi empat. D block adalah tengok elektron paling last. Elektron paling last duduk kat D. So, dia adalah D block. Berhati-hati untuk yang ni. Okay. So, how do we determine valence electron from D block? Kalau dia adalah D block, the valence electron will be the one in the 3D plus 4S. Okay, kalau dia adalah D block, valence electron adalah bersamaan dengan 3D plus 4S. And the group, numbering of the group will be equals to the number of valence electron. So, kita tengok sikit. Over here, I have, is a D block already, confirm. 
So my valence electron yang duduk dalam 4S yang duduk dalam 3D. Therefore, in this case, my valence electron number over here will be 3. 2 tambah 1. Setuju? Okay. And kalau siapa yang mata boleh baca tu, dia patut ada jawapan dia lah. Alif, what group is that? What group will your scandium be? 13, 13. Hah? Hah nak kena dengan aku weh? What group will that be? Three. three. For God's sake. Three. three. Thank you. Thirteen. Kalau ada pistol, kalau boleh, kalau depan Google Meet saya boleh tampar, kamu saya tampar dah weh. Alright. Ya, imagine kamu kena tampar. Valence electron, tiga, setuju. Group adalah sama dengan number of valence electron kalau dia D block. Okay. Another one, let's say I have yang kita selalu jumpa, manganese. Alright, hari tu balance equation kita ada manganese sangat banyak, 25. So, saya bagilah SPDF notation. 1S2, 2S2, 2P6. 3S2, 3P6. 4S2, 3D5. Okay. Alright, Mira, what period, what block? Period number 3. Huh? Oh, a period four. Period four. Group, uh, sorry, block. Uh, block seven. Huh? Yeah, uh. Block, oh, wait, okay. block shouldn't group. be a number. I'm oh, sorry. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> uh, block is five. Uh, so, two. I mean, sorry, it's D. Don't, don't know which way. I'm not going to do anything. I'm just on your screen. What else can I do other than sitting on your screen? Mira, S just block. come down. What block? S block. The last electron is in where right now? Oh, 4S. The last electron. 1S2, e. 2S2, 2P6, 3S2, 3P6, 4S2, 3D5. So the last electron is in the 3D, right? Yes. Therefore, what block is that? D. Thank you. D block, sayang. Setuju yang lain? Okay, thank you. So, you have your period 4 D block. Just come down, man. What else can I do other than sitting on your screen? I can't really slap you, do I? Alright, next. Since we know it's a D block, selalu kena ingat, nak cari group, kena tahu block mana, baru boleh tentukan valence electron. That is the flow. Kalau nak dapat group terus, yang tu memang impossible. Selalu budak akan rasa susah sebab dia nak tahu group terus. Dia nak macam period, dia nak macam block. Dia nak tengok tu, dia nak tahu terus. Saya pun rasa susah. So, saya nak ajar cara senang. Nak tahu group, okay, nak tahu group, kena tahu valence electron. Nak tahu valence electron, kena tahu satu benda, block. Sebab tu soalan tanya apa pun, saya akan cari dulu period dengan block. Senang je, tengok je. Betul? So, daripada D block kita tahu, valence electron mesti adalah yang duduk pada 4S and 3D. 4S and 3D. Okay, tambah dua-dua tu. So, valence electron sitting in here. And therefore, valence electron saya tujuh. Alif, sekali lagi. Group. Seven. Thank you. Senang kelas. Okay. Dia akan senang dengan satu syarat. SPDF notation betul. Alright, dia hanya akan... I mean, this thing is very easy. With one condition, you can write this thing 100% correct. And kamu akan perasan semua benda, your period, your block, your valence electron daripada SPDF notation kamu. And bayangkan dalam exam, your SPDF notation salah awal lagi. Period salah, block salah, group salah, your atomic radii semua bye-bye, 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 bye-bye. Soalan, se oh one more thing. Soalan takkan tanya yang ni. Kamu kena buat untuk dapat period. Kamu kena buat untuk dapat group. Sayang, saya nak ingatkan satu benda. Tak payah buat misal orang, tengok je lah periodic table. Oh, saya dengar kata macam kamu nak balik college dah. Dan kalau exam, periodic table tak diberi. Okay? So, bear that in mind. Alright? And then next, and probably the last, we will just very quickly go through a bit of your p orbital. P 
orbital satu je beza dia. Let's say I have my sulfur. My sulfur over here 16. Kalau tak siap saya, sulfur 16. Okay, uh, Hana, SPDF notation quickly. Satu S2. Dua S2. Dua P6. Eh, Three S2. Three P4. Four. And Mira. Are you still there? Yes. All right. Uh, can I have the period? Okay. Can I have the block? P block. Thank you. Lovely. Then untuk P block. Okay. Soalan pertama untuk P block. When you have P, P block, slightly different. Just one small thing different. Kalau dia adalah P block, valence electron will be as simple as the one in the NS plus NP. Sekali lagi, bila teacher kata NS dengan NP, N tu berapa miswa? N yang paling tinggi dalam tu. Alright, N yang paling tinggi maksimum dalam tu. So, N yang paling tinggi saya adalah tiga sebab Mira dah kata dia adalah period three. Okay, and when you already have the valence electron, over here slightly different. The group will be equals to your valence electron plus 10. Alright, saya dah tunjuk tadi kenapa kena tambah 10. Sebab S block, P block. Tengah-tengah tu ada D block, betul? So S block kena langkau D block untuk sampai kat P. So dia tambah 10 lah. Tu je. Tak payah tahu kenapa pun tak puas soalan tak pernah tanya. Okay, so over there, ama valence electron? Uh, six. Six yang duduk dalam 3S2, 3P4. Betul? Alright, therefore ama group? Group 16. Group 16, studio class. Okay. Next thing, and also the last. I want aluminium 13. One minute, I want the period group plot. Untuk class lain. Dia tak leset tanya orang tu je, sebab lagi orang lain duduk relax. So, dia kena tanya orang lain juga. Betul, Zavanis? Betul. Tak, tak. Saya ada cepumas lah. Kalau lah, let's say block 3 bukannya block 13 kan. Dia macam mana pula eh? Dia tak ada block 3 weh. Serius lah? So? Mana ada block mesti SPDF je. Oh, oh lah kan betul lah juga. Sorry. Saya nak tanya group 3 betulnya. Sorry silap. Tak apa saya tunjuk group 3 nanti. Saya memang nak tunjuk pun so buat dulu. I want aluminium 13. Please. Dah. Okay. Aluminium 13. SPDF notation. Saya nak Nurul Adila. Uh, yes, Miss. SPDF notation. 1S2, 2S2, 2P6, 3S2, 3P1. Thank you. And daripada sini, uh, Hani Fariha. Hani Fariha, I want the period, I want the block. Block P? Block P, uh, P block. Uh, group ah. Uh, period. Period 3. Period 3. Okay, yang lain kalau tak setuju boleh buka mic marah. Eh, tak adalah. No Atifah Hanan. Hanan ni Hanan, tak, tak nampak. Saya nak valence electron. No, Atifa. Yes. Tak dengar. 
No, Hananya? Um, three. Three. Datang dari mana saya? Valence three electrons P two. Three P and three S. Three S two, three P one. Betul? And therefore in this case, soalan senang ya, Javanese group. Boleh miss? Group? Uh, group one. Aku sepak kalau tak hang group one. Thirteen. Thank you, Arif. Group 13. Very simple over here. Aluminium SPDF notation seperti yang kawan kamu bagi. From there, we know that the last electron is located in the P block. Okay. And yang paling tinggi adalah 3. So, period 3. Then, kenapa valence electron adalah 3S2 plus 3P1? Saya dah tunjuk tadi, kalau dia adalah P block. Kalau dia adalah P block, valence electron will be the Ns plus Np. Sebab tu Ns plus Np. Therefore, you have your valence electron 3. And we agree on, kalau dia adalah P block, the group will be the valence electron tambah 10. Setuju kelas? Okay. So, that is your P block, that is your period, that is your group. Ada bantahan? Tak ada bantahan. Dan saya rasa antara masalah yang paling utama adalah yang Zawanis tanya tadi. Macam mana nak beza group 13 dengan group 3? That's why I started with scandium tadi. Alright, if you remember, we have our scandium 21 yang saya guna dari awal tadi. Dan saya berakhir dengan aluminium saya. I mean, I do plan my lecture somehow. Even though the mid always crash. No, no, no. The mid is not crashing. Touch wood, touch wood, Michelle. Okay. So we have our scandium from the beginning, but then, and if you still remember, Amma, period. Period. Four, four. Thank you. All right, over there, period four. Alif? Yeah. Block? Block D. Block D. D block. Okay. So, lain kali dalam balik kolej, we lain kali tak yalah nama kediaman yang hebat A1, A1, A2 tak yalah we. Block S, block T, block D, block F. Pandai sikit kimia pun balik bilik tu. Okay. So, over there right now, uh, you have your period 4 and D block is all because of your N paling tinggi adalah 4. So, kamu dapat period 4. It's a D block sebab elektron last sebenarnya duduk kat D orbital. So, waktu lah. Okay. Dan tengok sikit kat sini saya. Sekarang, dia adalah D block. And we agree on kalau dia D block, valence electron tadi. Okay. Your valence. CE. Valence electron tadi will be equals to the one in the 3D plus the one in the 4S. So, kamu akan ada 3D1 tambah 4S2 as your valence electron. Valence electron masih tiga. Look at that. Valence electron masih tiga. Tetapi kenapa kat sini dia jadi group three? Sebab, bukan sebab valence electron or whatsoever. I want to show you the importance of the block when you determine the group. Kawan baik untuk group bukan period. Kawan baik untuk group adalah block. Can you see that? Okay. Boleh kelas? So, a bit of conclusion over here before we move on. Zawani, saya menjawab soalan? I am menjawab. So, saya rasa period dengan block tak ada masalah nak tentukan. Kalau ada masalah pun sebab kamu panic attack lah. Alright. Saya pun tak tahu apa yang panic. What else I can do on your screen, man? Other than louder. Other than my voice is louder. Nothing. Voice louder pun you can just simply press mute. Be sing this song. You probably already mute me. So, over here, just a bit of conclusion for the group. Saya rasa yang paling penting adalah group. Okay? So, nak tentukan group, always need to know the block. Kalau dia adalah S block, okay, valence electron adalah bersamaan dengan Ns. N yang paling tinggi, always. And then, dari situ, group akan bersamaan dengan number of valence electron. Okay? Kalau dia adalah P block, valence electron 
akan bersamaan dengan NS plus NP. Again, N yang paling tinggi. And the group, okay, berhati-hati untuk P block. Group will be equal to the number of valence electron plus 10. Dia je tambah 10. Orang lain tak tambah. Okay. Last but not least, D block. D block kena berhati-hati pada valence electron. Your D block, valence electron over here will be equals to your 3D plus your 4S. Kenapa untuk yang ni Miss Wong boleh bagi N terus? Ingat tak saya cakap kita tak belajar apa-apa lebih daripada period 4? Okay. So jangan risau yang tu. Therefore, the group over here will be equals to the number of valence electron. I think this is clear enough. Kalau tak boleh jawab sangat tu, Hang memang nyampar kat aku eh. Bukan tak boleh. Okay. And kind reminder before we proceed, last reminder, if you realise for all the question that I have, all the question that we have, we are using the SPDF notation for the neutral atom. Semua SPDF notation yang saya bagi adalah neutral atom. Okay, baru kamu boleh tentukan sama ada dia duduk di period mana, blok mana or whatsoever. Dengan kata lain, kalau soalan exam satu hari nanti, dia bagi dalam bentuk ionic. Kamu kena tukar balik ionic tu kepada neutral, baru boleh tentu period group block. Dan bila saya cakap macam tu sayang, 99 question out of 100 dalam exam, dia akan bagi dalam ayat. Sebab kita nak kamu buat salah. That is our job. For you to do mistake. Yeah. No way our job is to make you smart and to know what to do with your life. This one. Saya boleh ajar, saya boleh cerita. Siapa yang dah tengok video, hang dengarlah balik ayat yang saya nak cerita tu sebiji je. Bila kamu masuk periodic table, there is one thing about this periodic table. Guys, periodic table is a history in chemistry. Alright, the modern periodic table is like the history that you have. Berubah tak sejarah kamu? Alright. I cannot imagine kalau anak saudara saya nak baca sejarah 20 tahun lagi pasal COVID. Habislah. <laughs> Alright. Disaster. <laughs> okay. So, bila benda ni adalah sejarah, benda ni adalah fix. Dia adalah fakta. Saya ajar macam mana pun, hang kena buka nota, hang kena tengok video, hang kena baca sendiri. Alright. Or else you won't get it. Macam kamu belajar sejarah lah. Cikgu kamu cerita tungtang-tungtang, pang-pang-pang, gila-gila macam mana, sonok macam mana pun. Dengar je lah cerita tu. Lepas tu balik, kamu kena baca juga. That is sejarah. Same thing. It's a fact over here. You need to know why by reading. Okay, I can just see. I can teach you, but at the end of the day, you still need to read it. Okay? So, when going down the group, okay, by the way, atomic red eye is the size of your atom. And over here, we are going to talk about atomic red eye means neutral Atom. Kita tak jadi cat ion, kita tak jadi an ion lagi. Just semua neutral. Semua yang basic duduk dalam periodic table, duduk diam-diam. Kita nak tengok apa jadi pada size dia. Okay. So over here, first thing. Ada dua keadaan je. Going down the group dengan going across the period. When you're going down a group, untuk mana-mana satu group yang berubah sebenarnya adalah N. Kita tengok group 1. Sahaja. Kat sini adalah period 1. So, untuk hydrogen, dia pegang satu petala. Lepas tu, turun group 2. Oh, sorry. Turun group 1 sampai ke period 2. Apa maksud period 2? N2. Betul? Kita bincang tadi. Period 2 bermakna ada dua petala. Turun lagi. Saya ada period 3. Apa maksud period 3? Saya ada N3. Setuju? Turun lagi. Saya jumpa lagi period 4. So, in the period 4, what happened? I have four energy level because my N highest equals to four. That's why they do the period four. Setuju? And, wait, mata kasar pun nampak. Size makin besar ke size makin kecil? Besar. So, when you are going down the group, okay, when you are going down a group, the size of your atom will definitely increase. The atomic size will definitely increase. Tapi, Jawab macam ni, kadang-kadang tak dapat maka pun. Sebab kadang-kadang soalan dah bagi tahu dah. Going down the group, the atomic size increase. Explain. Explain yang dapat maka. So at this moment, I think what makes it different from your SPM is in your SPM, you only need to know the conclusion. 
when you go down the group, what happened? Saiz besar, saiz kecil. When you go across the period, saiz besar, saiz kecil. Itu je yang kamu tahu. Kat sini kita nak tahu satu benda. Why? Okay. And I think that is pretty obvious when I start drawing. When you go down the group, the N increase. Number of energy level increase. So your N increase. Ataupun your shell increase. Okay. When your shell increase, dalam nota kamu ada satu keyword yang saya nak kamu tengok. Which is shielding effect. Alright. Apa itu shielding effect? Shielding effect adalah cerita daripada nucleus. Saya pegang positive charge. Untuk yang N4 ni, untuk yang N sama dengan 4 ni, nucleus saya duduk tengah, positive charge saya nak sampai kat elektron paling luar, kena langkau satu pintu, dua pintu, tiga pintu baru sampai kat dia. Shielding effect tinggi. Shielding effect adalah macam saya ada nucleus, saya kena lalu berapa halangan. Lagi banyak halangan yang kamu kena lalu, shielding effect lagi tinggi. Berbanding pakcik ni. Nucleus duduk kat tengah, positive charge. Valence electron duduk petala pertama. Tak payah langkau apa? Nucleus, electron, daya tarikan terus. Betul? So over here, the shielding effect for this, the shielding effect is very, very low. Okay, in this. But the shielding effect is high over here when the N increase. Agree? PK logic. Nucleus. Tak lalu apa-apa. Tak ada pintu, tak ada, tak perlu masuk bilik lain, tak perlu masuk rumah lain. Nucleus positive charge, jumpa elektron terus. Daya tarikan. Kuat atau lemah? PK yang tu. Berbanding dengan nucleus, kena lalu satu pintu, kena lalu something lagi, kena bagi password lagi, baru jumpa elektron. Alright? Daya tarikan siapa yang kuat? Obviously, Daya tarikan kat sini. The force of attraction over here akan kuat. Sebab saya tak perlu lalu apa weh. Saya ada positive charge, saya jumpa negative charge. Tertarik. Habis. Tapi kat sini, when my shielding effect is increased, my force of attraction akan jadi rendah gila tahap gaban. Hang bayangkan saya positif 100%. Katakan tenaga kita 100%. Lepas tu hang kena lalu satu halangan. Dah kurang 20, tinggal 80. Lalu satu lagi halangan, kurang lagi 30, tinggal 50. Lalu lagi halangan, kurang lagi 40. Sampai kat elektron tinggal 10% je dari tarikan. Betul? Alright? So, the force of attraction will decrease. And fikir logik lah. Yang ni pun memang kamu akan nampak. Logik je weh. Kalau kamu tanya saya nak hafal ke, saya rasa saya hafal keyword je. Ayat-ayat semua tak hafal. Sebab tu saya bagi pun saya bagi keyword je. Alright? Ayat tu boleh buat. Tapi penting tu adalah apa flow cerita dia. Yang tu penting. Okay. So when the force of attraction is weak, fikir logik. Nucleus, positif. Elektron saya duduk luar, kena lalu empat halangan. Force of attraction mesti rendah gila. Daya tarikan rendah. Therefore, size of the atom definitely besar lah. Betul? Saya, nucleus, saya duduk jauh ni dan saya tak tertarik sangat. Dapatlah daya tarikan sikit-sikit lah. Alright, daya tarikan sikit-sikit je. So, kamu akan tertarik sikit je lah. So, size besar lah. Berbanding dengan saya ada nucleus, saya tak ada halangan langsung. Tak ada halangan langsung apa-apa. Saya terus sampai kat uh, elektron saya. Daya tarikan kuat. Daya tarikan kuat, size jadi kecil sebab dia tertarik. Make sense? So, daya tarikan kita. Saya dengan kamu sekarang kuat ke lemah? Daya tarikan Baik. saya dengan Amar kuat ke lemah Amar? Adakah anda tertarik dengan saya? Kuat-kuat. I mean that is very true. Betul? How much attention you pay, uh, how much attention you pay to me is how much attraction that you are going to get. Shielding effect kita banyak weh dengan screen, lepas tu dengan whatsapp, girlfriend, boyfriend, telegram kat phone kamu. Dan mak kamu panggil kat depan adik So makan nasi lemak tak habis-habis tu Banyak-banyak shielding effect So kurangkan shielding effect tu supaya daya tarikan kita kuat Dan kamu dekat dengan saya Wow so sweet Miss Wong But true right Okay fikir balik yang tu uh, Ayat ni ada dalam nota kamu Cuma Miss Wong nak uh, satu benda je For going down the group For going down the group Benda yang kamu nak bincang mesti adalah Number of N, the principal quantum number N increase. 
Tak nak guna prinsipal quantum number. Guna shell pun saya terima. Ketala makin banyak. Betul? Alright, prinsipal quantum number saja nak bagi tunjuk pandai lah. Okay. So shell pun saya terima. N makin tinggi. Bila N makin tinggi, kita nak cerita reason. Kenapa? Shielding effect. Shielding effect kawan baik. Force of attraction from nucleus towards valence electron. Keyword dia. That's why valence electron akan duduk jauh sebab tak tertarik. Bila tak tertarik, size akan jadi besar. So when you are going down the group, but faktor yang kamu nak bincang adalah number of shell. Faktor yang kamu nak bincang, shielding effect. And that shielding effect mesti follow dengan force of attraction. Okay, keyword. Alright, read that a bit. And then, last but not least, when you go across the period. Okay, when you go across the period. When you go across the period, saya ambil contoh period 4. Oh, malah nak lukis. Period 2 lah. Saya ambil contoh period 2. Bila kita going across period 2, satu benda. Bila dia period 2, and dia sama. Dan bila and dia sama bermakna, sayang, saya duduk dari awal, Sehingga akhir, saya masih dua petala. Betul? So, soalan saya, boleh bincang shielding effect? Tak boleh. Kat sini, when you go across the period, we cannot discuss. Alright? We cannot discuss shielding effect. Why we cannot discuss shielding effect? Alright? Because the S, sorry, the S pula. Because the N is the same. Alright, because the shell is the same. When the N is the same, nak cerita shielding effect apa? Nombor petala sama, betul? So, kalau tak boleh cerita shielding effect, apa yang kita boleh cerita? Satu benda. Proton number. Kat sini saya bagi. Kalau tak percaya, boleh pergi cari. Okay? The proton number of lithium is 3. Proton number of beryllium is 4. Boron, 5. Carbon, sorry. Uh, 6, nitrogen 7, 8, 9, 10. Kamu akan perasan proton number increase when you move across a period. So when the proton number increase over here, alright, what happen is satu faktor yang kita nak bincang. Simbol yang saya selalu dalam guna dalam nota adalah Z, EFF. Pakcik ni, nama dia Effective nuclear charge. Nama pakcik ni adalah effective nuclear charge. And effective nuclear charge dengan proton adalah sama. Okay? Apa maksud teacher sama? Directly proportional. Bila proton number increase, effective nuclear charge increase. Okay? Fikir macam ni je. Daya tarikan sekarang, uh, saya nak lukis besar sikit boleh? Tak nampak. Okay. Saya ada proton saya. Nukleus saya duduk tengah. Saya ada satu petala. Saya ada dua petala. Saya ada nukleus saya duduk tengah. Saya ada satu petala. Saya ada dua petala. So, kita tahu proton kita bertambah. Bermakna dalam ni saya ada tiga positif. Dalam ni saya ada sepuluh positif. Fikir logik. Tiga positif tarik dua petala. Tiga positif tau. Tapi dua petala juga. Lepas tu seorang lagi, kawan seorang, 10 positif, masih tarik 2 petala. 1 shell, 2 shell. Period 2, kan? So, fikir logik ya. 3 positif, tarik 2 orang. 10 positif, tarik 2 layer juga. Siapa tarik kuat? Of course, proton number yang tinggi, effective nuclear charge yang tinggi, akan ada force of attraction yang tinggi. Dan bila force of attraction kat sini tinggi, Alright, increase atau stronger. So what happen to the valence electron? Bila saya ada daya tarikan yang kuat, valence electron akan duduk dekat dengan nucleus. Betul? So valence electron will be closer. Bila valence electron is closer, automatically sayang, size decrease. Therefore, when you go across the period, atomic size actually decrease. So, berbeza dengan going down the group. When you go down the group, atomic size increase. But when you go across a period, 
atomic size decrease. Dan reason yang berbeza, reason sebab proton number, sebab effective nuclear charge. Okay, dan saya nak buktikan satu benda je kat sini. Kita tak boleh guna shielding effect sebab N kita sama. Bilangan petala sama, nak bincang prinsipal quantum number apa? Nak bincang shielding effect layer sama je. Shielding effect sama je lah. Betul? Alright. Nampak? And from the keywords yang kita bincang. Okay. When you're going across a period, we agree on the atomic size decrease. When the atomic size decrease, reason. Okay, reason. Adalah proton number increase. Okay, when proton number increase, faktor dia, effective nuclear charge. Bila effective nuclear charge, uh, the force of attraction will pull the valence electron closer. Nampak? Okay, and the biggest problem over here dalam exam adalah, macam mana kita nak tahu soalan yang saya bagi, katakan eh. Saya bagi kat situ ada nitrogen, ada uh, magnesium, Lepas tu ada flor, uh, chlorine. Macam mana saya nak tahu dia adalah same group atau same period? Takkan nak hafal. Remember the first thing we learned this now? SPDF notation. Daripada SPDF notation, kamu boleh tentukan period, kamu boleh tentukan group. Dari situ, baru kamu bincang sama ada dia adalah same group atau same period. Baru boleh bincang size dia increase atau decrease. Bila soalan bagi elemen, hang jangan datang je elemen terus nak susun. Saya kagum. Alright, jangan. So, bila soalan bagi elemen dan dia tak bagi tahu dia adalah same period atau same group, make sure tentukan dulu same period atau same group. Okay? And yes, nothing is crash. I think it's because of the extension. Nothing to do with my line or your line or whatsoever. Thank you and have a good day. I hope I helped you to understand something today. And at least going out from here, you will be able to get your period, group, blue, uh, sorry, period and your block and your group correct, at least, okay, at least. And I'm so happy because nothing crashed today. Have a good day and, sorry? Dah tahu dah sebab apa kan? Saya rasa sebab extension saya. Sebab saya gatal sepi app. Konon-konon nak nampak hebat kan? So, saya pergi install satu extension, tak tahu extension apa benda cista. Alright, saya rasa yang tu lah. Kita cuba, kita cuba along the way. Alright, anyway, thank you and have a good day. I'll see you. Thank you, Mary. Thank you, Miss. Thank you, Miss. Thank you, Miss. Thank you, Miss. Ini semua line, okay? Semua mic, okay? Semua, semua, okay? Thank you, Miss. 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 We shall really start the class with. All right, that's it. Thank you, class. It's more my opinion. Goodbye, Miss. Goodbye. Thank you. Have a good day, guys. Thank you, Miss.